Last week's episode was quite an adventure. We celebrated St. Patrick's Day, Izzy and I both got musical instruments, and I did a little bit of wading in the tender. And after all that play, we got down to work and cleaned our Dickinson stove. Unfortunately, there was still a little block in the chimney which caused us to be smoked out of Tangaroa. Is I can't stop it because it's got to burn <laughs> off the diesel that's in the bottom of the, the burner. Ah. Hey everyone, and welcome to our crazy life on board Tangaroa. Two years ago, we decided that it was time for our family to move on to a boat. But not just any boat. 1969 aluminum trawler that needed a lot of work. Of course, being the crazy people we are, we decided we could do the whole refit ourselves. I personally am surprised that we're not divorced yet and that our kids have not disowned us. But soon, Tangaroa will be ready for our trip around the world. We hope our adventures inspire you to live each day with laughter and appreciation. Visit us at onboardtangroa.com for early access to ad-free videos. So there's something about when spring is coming, which is kind of not still a bit chilly, but it is April 1st. Happy April Fool's Day! Um, there's something about cleaning up the aft deck, taking all the tools away from the winter, and putting out the carpet! And that's what we're doing today! And then we're leaving. We are actually going cruising to... Where are we going? Um, Wallace Island first and then Montague. Yay! All the wood off. And then I put up the chairs. And look at the lower aft deck. We got all the crap off of it. It's always nice to have a little bit of a clean deck, I have to say. But spring is coming. Summer's coming. I gotta get my teeth because we're going to make today awesome! So I'm laughing because we are en route and I have been watching way too much Below Decks because I seriously dreamt that I was like a deckhand again and on the boat they made us drink Rockstar alcohol all the time. I don't know, it was really weird. So then we just get underway and we are heading to Wallace Island and I laugh because the first thing I do I go to play I'm like, can I get you anything? I'm like, so weird. It's seriously just like, I really need to stop watching Below Decks. So we are on our way. Blaine is in the wheelhouse. I'm still in pajamas. But we did a massive deck clean this morning and got everything off. Where are we going, Blaine? We are going to Wallace Island. Yay! Princess Cove. You know what's so good about leaving right now? Prawn season opened up today. So we have a whole bunch of yahoos flying by the boat. Like so much wake. And I want to yell at them, but we put our YouTube channel on the side of our boat. Yeah, so I can't early really in the do that. Too. I know. Oh well. Gotta show you our new swag. What do you think about this one? Oh yeah. The little black Love hat. It. Oh, show us the sweatshirt too. So the sweatshirts are for the patrons. Very cool. Hats we will sell eventually. But become a Patreon and this is your crew uniform you get. You hey Janice, who's what? driving? Oh shit! I'm supposed to be driving! Ah! This is prawn season. Look at all the marks. Again, it just opened April 1st. Lots of people out there. Marks everywhere.
you know, we are not a sailboat. We are a powerboat and it's a little bit loud when we go. Um, everything's getting quieter as we cruise. But let me show you what teenagers can sleep through. You guys can hear all this. Still sound of the sleep. There she is, Izzy. And remember when we let Maggie out on the deck? <laughs> Maggie, what you doing? <coughs> she wants it. Come on, Maggie. <laughs> Boat in there. And after about two and a half hours, we were at Wallace Island. Wallace Island, and we're just trying to figure out where we're going to go for the night. It is blowing gross out, and a trawler has anchored right in the middle, which is good for them. But we're going to meander in and see what we can do. We might go stern too, so we're ready for that just in case. And nothing like doing a stern tie on a 78 footer plane. Small area. It's almost like it's going to snow out. In honor of our visitors on board our time, I had to go put up the silver island flag. What do you think, Meg? It's freaking cold out, isn't it? <coughs> I have to remember it's only April 1st. It is cold. <sighs> but that's okay. And then it was time to anchor. We figured the only way for us to get right into Princess Cove was to run a stern line to shore. Or the one right next to them. Which chain do you want? Lucky for us, this marine park has rings attached to shore for boats to attach their stern lines to. Upon consultation with Blaine, we decided to head deeper into the cove and anchor just south of our time. Hey Dave, little change of plans. I'm going to feed this line out for you right now. You're going to take it while I anchor. The hardest job about this whole procedure is mine. I end up having to run 78 Izzy. feet back and forth and back and forth along Tangaroa to get the anchor down and the stern line to shore. Come on with the red ring, Dave. Luckily, this time we had help from Dad and Dave. Yeah. As we back up, hey, as we back up after we anchor. And without Josh on board, this was Izzy's first time on the stern line. Right by that big rock. And we're probably going to trip down a little bit first. Okay. Because we're way up. Here. Yeah. Start pulling in the slack. And we 
if it gets tight. Hold on. I know. If it gets tight, ease it out. Okay? We did it. We did it. I decided much easier coming in at two o'clock in the afternoon than midnight. The pissy thing is when batteries die on these little radios, Janice gets very frustrated and yells at Blaine. And Janice should know that you never yell. It's embarrassing. Yeah. So let's show you where we are. We put an anchor over there. This is the end of the bay and Dave and Chris are there, and we are stern lined to shore. Not bad for a 78 foot boat, Blake. Yeah. What do you think? Like a glove. Like a glove. This is called stern lined to shore. Blaine wasn't happy though. He wanted Tangaroa much closer to shore. Just in case someone wanted to come past us. You think someone's going to go in past us? Huh? Who knows? I think we left lots of room for everybody out here. To celebrate our successful anchoring, we headed to our time for Appies. Fabulous. Wonderful. Mm. Lane, you're not digging in. <coughs> That's just what you do boating. You have appetizers. That's how big that is. Whoa. Nice. So it is time to go for a walk. And Izzy is not happy with me. She's actually way for it and maybe crying a little bit because I forced her to get off the boat. I'm like, we're going for a walk now. She's not happy. I'm such a mean, mean mama. Oh, well. I'm not here to be her best friend. I'm here to parent, so it's time to get her off the boat. Oh, there's Tangaroa. There's so much room in here. Our little point's adorable. Driving through days and nights. I think I should have worn my rubber boots. Won't stop the traffic light. Here through this mud pit. Now what are you gonna do? <laughs> now what are you gonna do? If I, I, I do not. Woohoo! From falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down. Here we are back at Wallace Island. And look, our sign is still up. Let me look up. And then, and then there it is. On it and then just hold it like this. Yeah, perfect. So Wallace Island is famous for this house and Krista and Dave found our time again. Yay! And now there's adding to it. That's right. What are you adding? Sally? Sally, Ron, Scott, and Mary. Can we put Ron though? Was he here? <laughs> Was he really here? Is point. he really here? We're gonna put the new date on the what back. What do you think, Sally? You better put Can him we on add there. Ron? Better put him on there. Better put him on there. <laughs> perfect, now smile. Smile! <laughs> Perfect. We got up on the roof. Okay, we're way up there. Oh, nice! Yeah. 
Oh, I know. You should walk this way. <gasps> it is wild in here. There's nothing like just hugging a tree. This is Sal. She helped us. Well, she was with us. And right here from Thunder Bay, just hugging a tree. <laughs> yeah. all sappy. All sappy. She's all sappy hugging a tree. Where are you? everyone thanks for watching and we sure hope you liked that video hey if you want to know more about tangaroa head on over to onboardtangaroa.com and check out everything about tangaroa and our family and don't forget to hit that bell button because seriously you don't want to miss part two of wallace island